Hey there, my name is Spencer Stark, and today I'm going to run you through how to reset your game of Alice is Missing. So, uh, if you haven't watched the other two videos before this, I would back up and go watch the first video in the series that shows you how to set up the game, and then the second video, which is how to actually run your players through the game, and then this one is how to uh, take the, the mess that we've created in Rule 20 and, and clean it up so that you can play another game. So uh, this is kind of where we ended last time. We have the debrief card out here, nice and big. Um, and we're just going to go through, the first step is just go through and, and delete everything that's in there. So I'm going to de delete this here. Um, I'm going to go into gameplay. You'll see that there's kind of a mess here. This 10 minute card will be gone. It'll be in somebody's hand. So I'm going to clean up all of these here. I'm just going to select down and, and grab all the cards and hit delete. And then I'll move along to the clue setup. All of these should be gone. These should be in people's hands. So this will be empty already, which is good. Uh, the starting hunches should also be empty. It is for us as well. Um, character creation. If, if you had, you know, uh, three or four players playing instead of five, you might have a card or two left over here. We'll just go ahead and get rid of it because we're going to set everything up later anyways. And then the introduction, we're going to go through and just get rid of the missing person card. You should have the introduction card. Um, and uh, now everything is is pretty much cleaned as far as like the, you know, the first step is, is concerned. All the cards are going to be in people's hands for the most part. Uh, and if they've left, you won't be able to see it. So those cards just kind of look like they vanished. So I'm going to walk you through how to get all those back. Um, we're going to just go ahead and hide all these really quick so we do everything in order. That way we know what we've done and what we haven't. So uh, what I usually do is I just go down the list. So here I hit show, I hit, um, not shuffle, sorry, I hit recall, and then I hit shuffle after recalling, and I hit recall all. That brings that back. Then I hide, uh, and then I do the same thing all the way down. So I hit recall, Everything should already be there, but we're just going to do it all the way down to make sure we have it. And you're going to move all the way down the list here, doing all of these until you reach the debrief card. Um, so you'll see, actually, I'll use the character cards as an example. Uh, if I hit show, <clears throat> if I hit show and then I hit recall, and then I hit shuffle after recalling, you'll see that disappears from my hand. It'll disappear from hands that aren't in the game anymore either, as long as you select for it to do that. So let's do it with the motive cards and we'll look at it. So I can hit recall. You'll see... In player's hands, one. This should probably say five for you if you have five players or four or however many players you played with. Um, on table, it should be none because you deleted them. Uh, so you'll just shuffle after recalling, hit recall all, and it will grab all of them and bring them back here. Pretty straightforward. You're going to go all the way down the list and do all of that. I'm going to do it quickly just so that we show that it's done. Um, so all this clears. Great. Okay, so you'll see your hand is empty. Your hand should be empty. And everybody else's hands should be empty. Whether you can see them or not, they, they should be totally empty. And so then, then what we'll do is uh, we will go over to our journal section and you'll have all of your character sheets. Now you're gonna have to go in and I don't have anything written. Well, I have Dakotas here from when we were doing our setup before, but um, these are probably all gonna be filled out because you're gonna have filled them out during setup for the game. So you're gonna go into each one and just delete uh, all the information and in obviously there's nothing in here right now but there there would be um and, and you're going to do that for each character and that's something that i always forget to do and that i now have to make a special point to make sure i go and do is i have to delete all the information out of all the characters that were here uh, so you'll just go through every single one and just make sure it's clean and then uh, lastly what i do is i go into the jukebox here and i will delete this so delete folder and remove tracks i hit okay um, and then i hit manage audio and you'll see that if I go to playlists, this playlist is here. I usually will just uh, clear this this playlist so it's empty. Um, go to tracks, I'll go to here and hit clear file. And then I'll also go down to here. I'll hit this guy and then hit trash. And that will delete the tracks out of my rule 20. After that is done, you should have a blank slate. You should have all, all clean pages and it should be ready to set up for your next game. Uh, and you can follow the setup guide um, from the first video in this series uh, if you want help with doing that again. As always, you can reach out to me at Spencer Stark on Twitter with any questions. Um, and with that, I think that you are ready to play Alice is Missing. Um, I hope you have an amazing game and I can't wait to hear about it. Have a good one.